Hello friends. Thanks for joining me. I'm Joy and this is our, our own levels Hatha Flow class and today we will be focusing on the opening the shoulders, you know, creating space in the upper body. So I hope you enjoy. So find a comfortable seat. You can be crossing your legs or you can also um, sit on your heels extend your legs anything that feels comfy all right so first let's just fully arrive here sitting nice and tall engage the belly you're gonna inhale and shrug the shoulders up towards the ears take a big breath in exhale release you can exhale through the mouth again breathe in and breathe out one more time. Very nice. Now you're going to bring your hands to the heads of the shoulders. So you're going to start to inhale, bring the elbows to touch. Start to draw a big circle here. Exhale. And again, inhale. Exhale. So every time the, sh the elbows kiss in front, you take a breath in. We're going to reverse. Inhale. Start to exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Do this a couple more times at your own pace. Sometimes you may feel the shoulders feel a little bit crunchy. All right, and relax, just release here. Now you're gonna lace the fingers in front of you. Take a big breath in, inhale, exhale. Take another breath in here. Exhale, round the mid and upper back. You can even tuck your chin in. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Reach up. Another breath in. And exhale. And slowly release. All right. Now we're going to Cactus our arms, take a big breath in, exhale, take your right elbow under the left. Now lift your elbows about shoulder height and take your hands slightly away from your um, face. You're going to inhale, lift, gaze up, exhale, round. Again, breathe in and breathe out. Two more times. You may hear some popping here. Hips, shoulders. Last one. Inhale, sweep. And exhale, hands to the heart center. Now switch your legs, my friends. Bring the opposite in front. Inhale. Exhale, take your left elbow under or whatever side you didn't do. So again, bring those elbows about shoulder height, relax the shoulders away, down on your back. Breathe in and breathe out. Three more. Final one. And relax. Definitely felt the stretch through my arms as well. You can um, switch the legs once again if you wish. Now we're going to be lacing our fingers behind our back. Stretch those knuckles away from you. One more breath here. 
inhale and exhale you're just gonna fold your forehead may rest on the floor a block and last one and slowly release all right just draw a few circles here and then reverse Beautiful. We're going to start to move right away here. So we're going to start low to the ground. That's usually what I like to do if you're familiar with my classes. And then we pick up the pace a little bit and get a little bit more adventurous. So find the tabletop here. Bring the knees under the hips, shoulders over wrists. Take a big breath in. Exhale, walk the hands out in front of you and release your chest to the floor or block. Your hands can be shoulder width apart or even wider. Now really focus that breath moving through the side body, back body, front body. Just make sure that belly is not sinking down towards the floor, right? Keep that navel nice and engaged here. Try to keep your arms nice and straight. Breathe into the armpits. One more. Press your forearms. Come forward to your belly. We're going to get into a sphinx pose here, friends. Now, your shoulders are in line. My entire spine is cracking today. Stack your shoulders over the elbows here, press your forearms down. Now, if you notice here, my legs, they're completely relaxed. As soon as I engage, I lift my knees off the ground as I press the tops of my feet down. Just breathe here. You may feel this a little bit more into the abs or the low back. All right, and slowly release. Get a little bit more into those shoulders, right? So extend your arm out to the side, roughly hand in line with shoulder. Big breath in here. Exhale, just roll towards that right shoulder. Make sure you are releasing your head on the floor. You can keep the left foot down. You can even add a quad stretch here if that feels good. Take a couple more breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Mindfully release. We're going to go right to the other side. So extending your left arm out to the side. Inhale. Exhale. So again, maybe pause here first, observe. And then if you're like, no, I need a little bit more, we like to open that quad. You catch your foot or ankle, maybe use a strap. Breathe here. And then mindfully release. We're just gonna press back into a child's pose and then into a downward dog. So lifting your hips up and back, feet above hip width apart here. Press through the hands, engage the upper back. So for those of you that are very flexible here, make sure you just not sink into those shoulders as that chest melts towards the floor. 
One more breath here. And then start to make your way towards the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. You can press your hands on your shins here. Exhale to fold. Again, inhale. The shoulders will stay away from your ears. If you need, you can come a little bit higher here with your hands. And slowly release. Final one. Inhale to rise. Place the fingers, big breath in, and breath out, fold. You're going to hold it here, just a couple breaths. Maybe shake your head, yes or no. Open and close the mouth. And then slowly release your hands to the floor. We're going to step the left foot back. Set up for your warrior one here, my friends. Take a breath in. Stay for your exhale. Square off those hips. Engage through the belly. We're going to cactus our arms here. Now take your, that left elbow under the right once again. Now lift your elbows slightly, soften the tops of the shoulders. Stay strong through the legs as you anchor down through your feet. One more breath in. Slow breath out. I'm just going to frame that front foot and extend your right leg. For a little pyramid pose. Breathe in and breathe out. Last one. Inhale. Exhale. Step back into a plank. You can move through a flow. You can just step back into that downward dog. Inhale. Open the heart. Relax the shoulders. Gonna find an hour dog. Remember, every time you come to this pose, take a moment to check in with yourself to just, you know, appreciate the pause. Make your way to the top of your mat. Again, you can step, jump, walk, inhale, exhale. And rise, breathe in. As you breathe out, lace the fingers. Another inhale. Exhale, fold. Remember that we always want to link breath to movement. Allowing the breath to guide you here. One more time. Keep taking those knuckles away from your spine. And release the hands to the floor. Step your right foot back this time. Inhale. Rise for the warrior once again. The hip points are facing forward. The belly is nice and strong. First, arrive here. Brighten the fingers. Feel the power of this pose. On your next exhale, you're going to cactus your arms, take that right elbow under the left. Notice where you feel the pose, where you feel the stretch. One more time. Exhale, slowly frame your front foot, just Straighten that left leg. And if you need to adjust your stance here, please do so. I forgot my blocks today. So if touching, I forgot to mention this on the other side, but if touching the floor is not accessible to you right now, it's totally fine, friends. You can grab your elbows with opposite hands 
behind your back. It will definitely be more challenging for your balance here. You can move closer to the wall. Remember, some days you're gonna feel a little extra tight or a little bit more open for that matter. So adjust, modify, and then you're gonna step back into that plank. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna bring our hands nice and wide. Lift those elbows here. Spider Cobra, inhale. Stay for the exhale. One more breath in. Exhale, take that right shoulder down. Come back to center. And switch. Breathe in. And breathe out. Downward dog. We're gonna inhale, bend our knees, make your way to the top of your mat. And rise. Hands to the heart center. All right, so you're gonna work on our first standing balancing poses here. So we're ready, building some heat, right? Opening those shoulders, even working with the hips a little bit. So you're gonna inhale, sweep those arms out and up. Exhale, take your left elbow under. You know where we're going, I'm sure. We're gonna sit nice and low here, shift the weight into your right foot, wrap that left leg behind doesn't have to hook right that big toe doesn't need to hook behind your leg you can just point back or even rest that big toe on the floor find your focal point squeeze the legs together but relax your hip flexors soften the tops of the shoulders one more breath in stay for the exhale now keep your arms the way they are uncross that left leg and then slowly start to extend that left leg behind you. You're gonna go into that warrior one again. This time, reach those arms up and back with that bind. One more. Keep your bind if you can. Now you're gonna fold here just a little bit. Reach those fingertips forward. Feel that nice stretch into the upper back. Release your hands. Extend that right leg once again. So just revisiting that pyramid pose. If you want a little bit more challenge here, perhaps you may need to shorten those hands. You can wrap your arms around, right? So not in between the legs. Just loop it around. Lace the fingers. Adding a little bit more challenge to the balance. See if you can relax your toes here. Make sure they are not gripping. Make sure that belly is nice and strong. But most importantly, that you are breathing. Exhale, release, step back, plank, inhale, exhale, lower down, spider cobra, breathe in, stay for the exhale, one more time, exhale, we're going to add a little twist, come back, and switch sides. Breathe in. Breathe out. Downward dog is where we meet. Good 
there's anything that you need to release, to let go, take a big breath in, open mouth, exhale. One more time, just like this. Breathe big, breathe out slowly. Make your way to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, cactus your arms, my friends. Take that right elbow under. We're going to sit nice and low. Lift that right heel. So first, transfer the weight into your left foot. Bend the left knee as much as you can. Square off the hips. Try not to fold, right? Try not to reach the fingers forward. Sit nice and tall here in that imaginary wall as you stack the shoulders over the hips. Notice what's happening to the face, tops of the shoulders, hip flexors. Inhale, uncross the leg, tighten your balance. Exhale slowly. Start to fold here as you reach that leg behind you and then plant that right foot on the floor. Reach up and back. Another big breath in. As you exhale, hinge at the hips and then just fold here a little bit. Breathe in between the shoulder blades. And exhale, release the hands, extend that left leg. Maybe you add that balancing element here, right? Reaching the arms around, another variation is always hands behind your back. Release your hands. To frame the left foot, step your right foot to meet your left. Take a big breath in, halfway lift. Breathe out, fold. Again, inhale. Exhale. Inhale to rise. Exhale, cactus your arms, press the hips forward, just a baby back bend. Again, breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale, reach up, sit low into a chair pose. Now lace the fingers behind your back. Draw the navel towards the spine. Shift your weight back into your heels. Make sure that tailbone is nice and long. Sit lower and then fold. Keep that bind. Hmm. Breathe deeply through the back of your legs. From that tailbone all the way to your neck. And release the hands. Take an inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, do you, you know what to do? Move like you. Always continue to soften the edges of your breath. Hmm. Let's add a little bit more here. Breathe that right leg nice and high. Keep your hips square. Tap that right knee into the right shoulder. Inhale, reach. Switch. Inhale. Knee to nose. Step your foot forward. Plant to that left heel. Now, before we go up, you're just going to walk your hands towards that top left corner and fold here for that, what we call down dog lunge. So you have down dog arms. Hmm. 
Make sure that right hip is not shifting out to the side. So keep those hips nice and squared like your warrior one. Hmm. Breathe into the hamstrings, into the hip. Walk the hands back to center. Now, tap into the core, press the feet firmly. Reach your arms back behind you so you have a long spine here. Keep right, wrapping that right hip and then slowly come up. Breathe in and breathe out. One more time, inhale, exhale. Lace the fingers. Now we're gonna go into a little warrior three here. Let me need to adjust my stance here. So from here, you can shift to the ball of that back foot and then slowly find a warrior three with that bind. If lacing the fingers is too much, you can cactus the arms or grab the elbows with opposite hands behind your back, but keep lifting that chest. Release your hands to your hips. Start to come all the way up, drawing that left knee with you. Bring your knee about hip height in front of you. Add a little twist here. Stand tall. Slowly square off those shoulders. Add a little figure four here. Go as far as your body allows you to, right? We want a few sensation, but always being mindful, you know, if it's too much, if it's too little. And then slowly release, just shake it out here. Hmm. All right, we're gonna revisit the chair pose, my friends. So first, let's do a little standing back bend. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out, sit low. Lace the fingers, sit an inch lower here, but keep lifting that chest. Watch so that you don't have that huge curve on that low back here. And slowly fold. Release your hands to the floor. Take an inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, move like you. If you want to flow or just hold a plank. And you can downward dog. Raise your left leg nice and high. Take your left knee to your left shoulder. Inhale, exhale, twist, breathe in, breathe out, tap that foot between your hands, plant your right heel, keeping those hips nice and square. Remember, we're going to walk the hands towards the top, right corner this time. Don't be afraid to bend that left knee deeply as long as you keep the knee over your ankle soften through the shoulders one more time you're gonna walk the hands to frame your foot once again tap into the core press your feet Reach your arms behind you like you were wearing a cape. Inhale. 
Exhale, cactus your arms and lace the fingers. You're going to transfer to the ball of that back foot. You're going to go into that warrior three. So take your time. You're going to float. I always move a lot on my back. Just slowly transfer the weight into that left foot. Raise that right leg. Either flex your toes or give me those Barbie toes. Hands to your hips, so start to rise here. Draw the right knee with you. Stand tall. You're gonna twist to the right. Flex the toes, breathe, grow tall. Come back to center, find a figure four. Sit on that imaginary chair, breathe into the outer hip. One more time. And release. Shake it out. All right, good work here. I'm going to come low to the ground for our cool down. And a little bit more work here. So if you want to sit on the edge of a blanket or a block, First, we're just gonna extend our legs out in front of us. So you get a little bit more into the back of the legs. See if you can start to soften here. Notice right away where you're feeling this. Let's, while we sit up here, no need to fold just yet. Take a breath in, exhale, take that left ear towards your left shoulder, sit tall, draw your chin towards your chest, and switch, take the right ear towards your right shoulder. back to center and then back to that neutral all right now we're gonna take a big breath in exhale and start to walk the hands in front of you keep those legs active maybe open the legs a little wider if you can remember that discomfort it's part of the process. Taking note of how you feel, how this pose affects you, it's also part of the process, right? To observe how you react. Do you try to escape? Do you try to run away? Do you judge? Keep that spine long. Relax a bit more into the back of the legs, the groins. And then slowly walk the hands in. Let's bend that left knee. Keep your right leg nice and straight. Square off those shoulders. And then slowly fold. Jana Shasana. Breathe deeply into that mid back, upper back.
and slowly walk the hands back. Now, friends, bring the left shin forward a little bit more. Stack your right shin on top. So whether your foot comes all the way up or a little bit more towards the mid shin here, doesn't matter. I'm super tight on my hips, so my knee doesn't stack on top of my foot. Take a breath here. Maybe you want to fold a little bit more and add a little more sensation. Slowly walk the hands back. Now take the right leg, just cross over and hug that left heel in. Option to expand that bottom leg right in front of you. We're gonna add a twist here. Gaze towards the right shoulder. Use your inhales to lift. Exhale to twist. Again, breathe in and breathe out slowly release maybe take a little counter twist here now switch sides extend your left leg out hug the right heel in square off those shoulders and fold Remember that less is more. So again, if this is feeling, you know, you don't want to feel pain when we do this types of stretch or any pose for that matter. Yoga is meant to help us heal, to feel freedom, right? From anything that feels yucky, that feels heavy. Take another breath here. And then slowly sit tall. So bring now your right shin out in front of you and stack that left shin on top. It may feel completely different. It may feel the same. Just take a moment to observe if you wanna Fold right away, you can. I always like to feel, to observe how my body responds right away to a pose, especially the ones that challenges me the most, right? So then I can choose whether I need more or less. In this case, I just have enough, enough sensation. And then slowly just hug that right heel in, cross that left leg over, and we're gonna take that twist. And then slowly release. And then my friends, just find a butterfly here. This is our final pose. If you want to add a little bit more for the shoulders, you can lace the fingers behind your back like we did in the beginning of the class. Otherwise, just completely relax. Here, fold. Whether you want to walk the feet away from you a little bit more or take the feet closer. Breathe into the low back, into the inner legs, the groins, relax everything.
and slowly walk the hands back, just windshield the legs a little bit. And then find your ways down to your back, finding that final relaxation, your Shavasana. You can extend your legs, your arms. Um, you can do butterfly legs if you wish. Or if your low back feels tender today, step your feet as wide as your mat and then let your knees touch here. It feels, um, sometimes if I'm struggling, I, I like that variation or using props as well. But as always, just give yourself permission to rest a little bit, to integrate, right? To allow your body to just simply receive. I hope you join me next time. Check it out. Um, my videos and from my heart to yours. Namaste.